Hey everyone, Mad Hatter here, and I know I haven't uploaded in a while. I know I said I'd keep up the upload rate and stuff, but I just haven't been feeling like uploading lately. I mean, there's nothing crazy, but today, in the next couple of days, you'll see quite a few uploads. It's just whenever there isn't an upload, it's probably because there isn't a whole lot to make videos of. I can make pretty much almost infinite guides, but the issue is not everyone's going to watch those guides, and uploading them, you know, too fast is just going to you know burn out those guides so i try to keep them up for big updates and stuff so today i'm actually going to be covering a question i get quite a lot and that is what are mono teams so in case you don't know mono means one right so mono element teams means one element teams so that means it's a team that focuses on one type primarily one type of damage however for quite a few cases it's also just one element across the board right for example let's use an earth team which is not fully earth here right because while yes andras is a water unit her kit is now doing earth damage right so it is a mono earth team but it's not completely mono because normally for min maxing you'd want amaris here so you can use uh andras on another team but i don't have amaris so this is what I have to deal with, however, pretend that Andras is a Maris. So instead of the purple haired, really nice girl, think of some midget dragon. <laughs> okay. And yeah, that would be a mono earth team because Mariel is earth, Kamael is earth, Tinya is earth, right? And what that essentially means is that they have borderline perfect synergy with each other since all of them are going to be benefiting from the debuffs each other is outputting the buffs each other is outputting right now of course there are generic characters like for example kama l or tinya that can fit on pretty much any team and accomplish a really nice purpose however within a mono earth team they perform the best because while kama l is obviously great on any range team because he provides the range defense reds right and stuff like that so for example before you could run him in mono darks instead of um you could run claude first corpse commander uh gun agma and then kama l however that wouldn't be kama l's best positioning because you don't get the best out of it. obviously he accomplishes a purpose in that team but he gets more benefit out of being an earth now what are some examples of mono earth team this is one right but if we're talking about, for example, PvP, I'm going to use a really common one, and that's Mono Earth PvP. What do you notice about this team? What are all the characters, aside from being good characters, what are they all? They're all Earth! They're all Earth! And that's what makes a Mono team. I know I'm reiterating the simple topic, simple definition over and over, but it's really key to understand. If you're going to click off the video, that's perfectly fine. You probably don't need it if, you know, you click on it, but you click off, you don't need the video then. Right, but that's what a mono team is. You have to understand that the reason a mono team is good is because those units work perfectly in harmony. I wouldn't run mono darks with Beth and Claude together because they don't synergize perfectly. Mono dark is generally associated with either mono dark ranged or mono dark melee. A lot of the things in Guardian Tales that aren't explained in the game or aren't easily, you know understandable are things you have to pick up when someone says mono earth they're either ref depending on the context of the conversation they're referring to one of three teams one you know their typical ranged earth team for raids which is amaris mariel kama altinia which would change you know who's lead depending on what boss you're fighting or the coliseum variant which is mariel kama el rule craig or the melee variant which i believe is um melee ru so ru with her um garbage bag uh, Ray, Lilith, and uh, Lifeguard Yuse. That that would be the melee Earth variant. However, that's once again going to be considered an Earth team for the sake of my video and any video in the future, right? I'm just going to be referring to Monos as primarily one element damage. And yeah, you're going to be optimizing those teams to fit that type of damage because let's look at Mariel here, right? Why might you want to run Mariel in Mono Earth? Let's look at her weapons effect. On crit hit increases movement speed by 5%. Whatever, that doesn't affect the team, which means that can work in any team. However, the next thing, and reduces earth type resistance by 5%, and this effect can overlap up to four times. This means if you have, let's say, you know, uh, Yunha here, she's not, and you running just her EX, she's not going to be able to tap into that 20% earth defense shred. So you're not going to get the complete full value out of it. You're still obviously going to get value out of it because Kamal and Mayreal are going to be proccing and making 
additional damage off of that, but Yunha isn't. And this is where the mono team kicks in, where Rue does get the benefit from that, where Ameris would get the benefit from that, and you would have perfect synergy across the board. Let's talk about another team. Now, my water raid team is outdated. Don't look at this, please. Please don't copy this water raid team. It's something that I've reset a couple of heroes and stuff over the time, and poof, I'm working on it. Okay, ignore it. Don't look at this. But let's look at Garam, for example. Garam cannot work outside of mono water. And why do I say that? I'm going to give you guys three seconds. Look at the screen and you'll figure out one reason, primary reason, as to why he can't work outside of mono water. Yeah, it's his party buff. If you didn't get that, please watch my other videos. They will explain it to you. I'm going to have a team building guide out today or tomorrow ex ex explaining party buffs and stuff. Because, once again... I'm trying to get as many guides out as I can, just so you guys have the information to access anytime. And quick little announcement for those who are excited for Zero to Hero and stuff. It's a really time-consuming series, and I promise it will come eventually. Probably it will return before the end of September, which I know is a long wait, considering I said that like three weeks ago. <laughs> so... But, you know, with school, everything else that I do, it's really tough to squeeze it in because I already have to manage, you know, like my four Guardian Tales accounts plus zero to hero. That makes it five. And if I want to play any other game, it becomes really tight. So enough with the tangent. Zero to hero will be coming later in the month. But if you want to show the support, if you want zero to hero ret to return only, make this video get 200 subs, 200 likes, not 200 subs. You can't subscribe a video. My bad, guys. Anyways, it's his party buff that does it right so why would he work outside of mono water because his party buff is essentially only helping himself right if he's in you know let's say with earth no one else benefits from what garam does here they're all going to be doing earth type damage while his water attack does essentially nothing right while in this team the water attack benefits everyone right and yes yes you can argue that, oh, but, but Orca has range damage. That means she can work on any team. If you actually read her kit, she shreds water type resistance, which once again means that she belongs in mono water because without a full water team, you're not going to be capitalizing on it. It's not about, you know, min maxing perfectly. It's about getting the most value out of a character. Without getting the most value out of a character, what's the point of investing, you know, you know, weeks and weeks worth of resources into them? If I'm not going to be getting the best value out of a character, I spent, you know, thousands and thousands of gems pulling for plus their EX. What's the point? Right? Why should I use that character ever if that character isn't giving me the best value I put in for them? Right? That's what mono teams are, and that's why you'd want to run mono teams. Now, what are some examples of mono teams? I'm going to list them mainly out because I don't have all mono teams completed. I play really lazily, but do as I say, don't do as I do. I don't know if that's, that's the thing. Don't quote me on that, okay? Stop it. Don't give me an English lesson. And I'm trying to, I know I'm saying so many random things throughout the video, but I'm trying, trying to get my videos to have a uh, Indonesian and um, Filipino captions but it's just really hard man google translate is bugging out it doesn't translate stuff properly so if there's anyone indonesian or uh Fili filipino please join my community discord or hit me up with an email that's in my about me and we can work something out you can help me out you know and you can get videos in indonesian but i'll also try to speak slower if that would help <laughs> let's get into some examples okay first one i'm just going to illustrate out mono worth because i've told you already right Mariel, Kamael, Amaris, Tinia, it can be any lead depending on what the boss you're fighting and how hard it is for a certain character to deal with them, right? That's going to be it for Earth. For Kolo, you're going to want to run something like Mariel. I have the team right here. You're going to want to run something like Mariel, Kamael, Ru, Craig. It's simple as that. There are some, you know, different comps that aren't mono, but in my opinion, this is just the best mono Earth comp. Next up is Basics. Basics have lots of variants. This is personally my favorite. It's not that great because uh, I could be running stuff like Eva and other stuff on the team. But yeah, there's mono basics. It's 
primarily mono basic yunha is just broken it's just yunha hardcore carrying the team she's too op honestly she sucks in arena though absolute trash unit in arena and this is my beth team that i used to shit on a couple of very specific teams but once again this isn't mono i'm giving you examples of what aren't mono teams these aren't mono then there's actually mono dark which i don't have it runs with cool it runs with um arabelle and some other bozos i don't i don't do colo teams okay but for raid range monodark is claude uh first corpse commander agma with gun and vanette the new character right that's pretty much the best in slot for now melee dark is um going to be beth lilith ray and yuse and your pretty much rainbow team for melee raids is always going to be lilith yuse and ray that's it and you can pretty much slot in your primary melee DPS in place of whether it's Beth, Melee, Rue, stuff like that, right? Ranged Fire is odd. That team is absolute dog water. Don't go near it, right? It's just, it's just bad. Like, I guess Elvira and stuff can be cool for really lower level bosses where she actually hits really damn hard. However, it's just not worth it. The teams you should be investing into are uh, Dark, Basic, and then Earth. Those are just the best. Basic and Dark are so broken, even off Element. Like, basic, basic is carried by Yunha. Yunha shot that team up to the freaking stratosphere. And then Darks now have Vinette. So, yeah, the teams are really broken. Earth is always just good as usual. Earth never sucks. It generally has ups and then goods. So, you can't fail to invest into those three and not be successful. Don't chase, you know, raid meta as a free-to-play player. It's, it's impossible. Just get, you know, solid, consistent characters that are good in raids. So, for example, Kama L, Andras, Claude, First Corpse Commander, Mayor Rio etc stuff like that units that are just good across the board and not meta spawn based right don't go for them so yeah those are examples of what mono teams are and it's it's simple but complicated i can't really you know make it more difficult it really you have to understand what each character does my best recommendation for understanding all these things is always look in the book it's the simplest most easy thing to do and read a character skills like, literally, come here, huh? Arabelle, hmm, should I run her with Mario? I don't know, man. They seem like fun, good characters. Should I run her? No, read the party buff. Read the party buff. Read the skills, okay? It will all show you whether that character is good for a mono team or not. You literally just have to read their skills. You can't run Eva and freaking Claude on the same team. They have conflicting party buffs and overall skill effects claude will mainly shred dark resistance but the reason why claude's good is straight up because he's just that damn good claude comma l is really powerful in generic you know story content stuff like that but that doesn't need specific teams you can just story is more so stat checking right are your characters geared well are your characters leveled up are your characters limit broken if those are all checked up then you're pretty much going to be able to create a story with almost anything Unless you're running freaking one stars. And even then, it's possible, I think. It's just going to be really, really damn annoying. And I don't know why you'd put yourself through it. Just read. It's, it's at the end of the day, it's just as simple as that. If you read and learn how to read, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be chilling with mono teams. And so, yeah, that's it. It's a really damn short guide. But, I mean, I can't stretch it further. I'm not going to try to push the video any longer. But, yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. I'll see you all in the next one.